Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to beat Dark Souls only using your fist and fist weapons. First off, you're going to want to pick the Pyromancer class. Make sure you choose the Master Key as your starting gift so that you can get to Andre. Head down to this area over here, loot Petrus's stash, and steal his homeward bones. Now head down through New Londo Ruins and through Valley of the Drakes. Watch out for the Black Knight. He's pretty dangerous. Tried to decapitate me and then stomp on my head, but I tucked and rolled and got past him. He's too strong to fight for now, so just go past. Now beat the snot out of the lizard and take the Titanite. You'll need that later on. And make your way on up to Andre. Andre is a very strong man, a very wise man, and he sells you a very important weapon. The Cestus. The ultimate punching weapon is now in your possession. So upgrade it as much as you can, and then use the homeward bone you stole, and head on back to Firelink Shrine. You can now play the game along the normal path, but this time, you will have punching power on your side. Punch all the hollows. They're a bunch of anorexic zombies, so they don't really have the strength to match. They think that they can use weapons and that they're superior to you because you don't have a weapon. They are so wrong. You can punch them in their face, gut punch them, kick them off cliffs, punch them in the back. It doesn't matter. They won't stand a chance against you. Some of them will try to hide behind shields, so just kick their shields out of the way and they really won't be a problem. Now for this build, you're going to want to primarily level up Vitality and Strength. And you're also going to want to level up Endurance to a minimum of 17. And level up Intelligence to a maximum of 15. This is all you'll really need for the loadout I'm going to give you, so uh, just go with that. Keep punching your way through Undeadburg. The Black Knight's pretty strong, pretty intimidating. But now you have punching power on your side, so just knock away his weapon with your bare arm and beat his face. You may need to use resins on your fist to take down really big opponents like this guy. Jump on his head, breaking every bone in his body, and then jump off again. Easy peas, you have achieved victory using punching power. And a bit of lightning on your fist. Now keep leveling up. Again, primarily strength and vitality. You need to be able to take hits as well as give them out. Make pork roast out of this guy. And go back to Andre. Now improve your Cestus as much as you can for maximum punching power and face mashing effect. And keep beating the heck out of everything in your path. Some of the more cowardly enemies will try to hide behind their big shields, but yeah, just keep punching on them. They'll relent. They're not as tough as they look. You have the power of unarmed martial arts on your side. A good choice for an early game ring is the blue tearstone ring. It saved my butt here. It allowed me to survive, and it might help you as well. But eventually you will want to upgrade, so kick the snot out of Lautrec. Not only is he a murderer who is unfit to live, but he has something you want. The best ring in the game. So, go ahead and throw that on your hand. Watch out for the physics-defying dog. Somehow managed to phase between me and the door. Yeah, just beat it like you beat any dog, in the game or in real life. And go ahead and rescue Griggs. You'll find the corpse trapped in a barrel next to him, so free the corpse and take the catalyst. You'll need the catalyst later on. Now go back to Darkroot Basin and take your revenge on the Black Knight. This part is of course optional, but I see no reason why you wouldn't want to beat some face when you have the opportunity. Take out Havel. He's really strong and really tough, but he's also super slow and he's kind of a retard. He doesn't know how to aim his weapon properly, so just uh, keep punching him in the face until he goes down and take his ring. Now go down to where the Hydra is, and you'll find the Night Armor. For now you should probably run away from the Hydra, unless you have a Death Wish. Put that armor on, and you'll have poise and defense through the roof. Capra Demon doesn't stand a chance. No matter how big his machetes are, they can't save him. Butcher these guys, punch the crap out of them, give these fat people early cardiac arrest, and take the sack off his head. 
Now put the sack on. This is your new look. You must wear the sack. It's not just about punching, it's about looking good while you're punching, so put that on. Pick up the ember, you'll take it to Andre later, and beat the crap out of these barrels. They won't stand a chance against you. And rescue this guy. Kinda looks like a homeless person, but he does sell things of value, so uh, make sure you get him out of there. And head on down into the sewers. Watch out for the giant rats. They knocked me around, I fell backwards and landed in a pile of crap. It was a pretty nasty experience, but uh, you know, there's stuff you need in the sewers. Kick the snot out of Kirk. Try not to get any spikes in your fists. Now go and find Griggs at Firelink and buy magic weapon from him. This is pretty much the only thing you need from him. Take the Ember to Andre and get your Cestus upgraded the rest of the way. Then you use magic weapon to buff it. Now you can take on the Hydra. Doesn't matter that he has seven heads and you only have one, he doesn't have any fists. So just take him out. You might need to use fire bombs to finish him off if he's out of range. They explode on water for some reason. I don't know why. I guess the uh, surface tension is pretty high in Lordran. Maybe something to do with uh, the flow of time being convoluted. I'm not really sure. Anyways, beat the crystal golem and rescue the princess. Oh yeah. Now find her summoning sign on the bank where you fought the Hydra and summon her. Make sure to be polite. This is royalty you're talking to after all. And buy the catalyst she sells. It's a lot better than the one you have now and it's lighter. Now go back to the undead asylum and take out everything in your path. Kill Oscar. He's insane. This is what he would want, you know, getting finished off. And beat the Stray Demon. You need the Titanite Slab, so just loot everything at the Asylum and then head back to Firelink. Now go to the guy you rescued and buy Flash Sweat from him. This is really important. This will allow you to survive later events in this game. And fight your way through the sewers, beating the crap out of everything, quite literally in this case and take the crap you beat out of them, if you're uh, comfortable handling it anyways. Make sure you do this while wearing gloves, because you don't want to get, like, some kind of horrible infection or something. Kill this ugly, disgusting, overgrown wall tick. The wall has been suffering long enough, so relieve its anguish, and it will reward you with power within. And now combine power within and magic weapon, and you will have obtained even greater punching power. Quaylag tries to take you down with like lava and a fire whip and everything else. It really doesn't matter at this point. You have punching power. You have a glowing blue fist. And you have power within. Now go and find your handicapped sister down below and join the Chaos Covenant. That will be very important later. Make sure you apply flash sweat when fighting Lava Man. He's gonna dump lava on your head, and you need sweat to stave off the heat. The sack you've got is already pretty sweaty because you got it from a big fat guy, so it's not like you're gonna ruin your clothes. Just go ahead and fist bump him until he can't take it anymore. He is not a true bro, so he will relent. He will fall to his death. More victory achieved. Now go ahead and talk to this giant worm. Uh, feed him whatever you don't want for extra souls. He especially likes dung pies. Go to New Londo. Send these ghosts to the actual afterlife. Then go ahead and beat this guy. He's pretty old anyways. He's about to drop, so just give him that last little shove. And take the seal key from him so you can get down to where the dark wraiths are. The dark wraiths are pretty important because they'll give you titanite chunks. And what's also important is the very large ember. Give that to Andre and get your Cestus upgraded to plus 15. Now they have some pretty big snakes in Sen's Fortress. They're a little bit too big to step on, but that's fine for you because you're mostly a punching expert anyway, so just punch the heck out of them. Boulder Knights, they have the best shields in the game, but it doesn't even matter. Just punch them aside. The Iron Golem is pretty much a pushover, so just push him over. Beat the snot out of him. 
Make your way along the rafters and uh, careful you don't fall off as you're fighting the bedsheet ninjas. Break the chandelier or let them break it for you. It doesn't matter. They're not very strong since they're not even wearing armor, but um, they can be dangerous in numbers, just like germs. Now go down to where the chandelier fell and pick up great magic weapon. Fight your way past the silver knights. They're very weak to magic damage, so they won't be able to stand up to your magic fist. Summon Solaire if you want help. Just make sure he knows his place. Now combine power within and great magic weapon. This is where the true punching power really takes off. Kick the snot out of Ornstein and then beat the crap out of Smo. Easy peasy. You're gonna wanna go ahead and kill the fake Guinevere. She's just an illusion that has been lying to you and everyone else in Anorlando. Gwendolyn will be pretty ticked off and send assassins after you, but uh, just kick the snot out of them. They're not very tough. And place the Lord Vessel. Kick the snot out of Kirk, because he gets in your way. Now give 30 humanity to the Daughter of Chaos, or more if you're feeling generous. This will open up the shortcut to Lost Isolith. This is a very important part of making your punching build. It's not about saving Solaire. Nobody cares about Solaire. You don't care about Solaire. It's about making yourself stronger. So punch Kirk in the face for the last time. Go back to the Chaos Covenant, and uh, you'll find Kirk there. He's going to be pretty tired out from all the repeated punching. So just steal the clothes off his back while he sleeps like a homeless person, and put his gauntlets on. His gauntlets are very important. They will increase your punching power by 10%. It doesn't sound like much, but every bit helps. It, uh, it won't help you on critical hits, just on normal hits. If you want to do really powerful critical hits, go ahead and grab the Hornet Ring from Darkroot Garden. This will increase your face mashing power by 30%, and you can break necks with it. If it can be parried, it can have its face mashed. You won't be able to fast roll while wearing the Hornet Ring with only 17 endurance, but who cares? You can beat anybody's face. Make mashed potatoes out of them. Keep farming Dark Wraiths so you can get Titanite Chunks in order to upgrade your armor. You want to be tough as well as strong. You can go to the Kiln of the First Flame if you've beaten the major bosses in the game and have a pretty ready supply of Black Knights and Titanite Chunks there. Lastly, you're going to want to go ahead and beat the crap out of Gwendolyn. He lied to you. He lied to everyone in Anor Londo. He's really weak. He can't punch. And he's a sore loser so he gets what he deserves.